Good morning oh, from oh. Henderson's Flats OHV. Yeah, I know. And uh, spent the morning kind of no. hanging out here and then we took the dirt bikes out and I, I needed like a new action camera or something. Can you be quiet? What? He just does this now. He just talks way too much. Nobody cares, champ. Nobody cares. I don't understand. I don't speak dog. Anyway, I understand Flats OHV area. It's a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to dirt bike. We did a really long, really intense ride today. Um, and it was a lot of fun, but because I don't have like an action camera, I decided to just ride and not film it because the last few times I tried to ride and film, didn't really have as good a time. So I need to figure out something, a new solution. I don't know that I want to get a GoPro, but I don't know that I don't. So I'll make up my mind and figure it out. Hopefully in Calgary or something, we'll figure it out. And soon we'll have uh, some good footage again. But uh, yeah, say goodbye to Keith. I'm going to hit the road, check out some more stuff today and uh, start making my way up to Calgary, back to Canada. I'm only like a week away from Canada. He's kind of weird. So yeah, if you're into it, you should check out Keith's uh, Instagram because he's pretty active on there and he's got this crazy self-built trailer and he's constantly modding it, constantly doing his own, figuring it out, figuring it out on the road and making it work on the road. So it's really cool because he's built that whole thing. It's like a cabin in the woods and he built it in the woods. So it looks the part, fits the part. I love that thing, it's so cool. Uh, and I'm really excited to go build a boat. We've just been talking build the whole time we're here and it's just got me all riled up about the boat. So yeah, I'll leave the link to his stuff in the description. Check him out. Well, I wanted to go to Bagby Hot Spring, which is a really famous hot spring. Google image it, it's so gorgeous. But uh, the route is is rough. I mean, if I had like four wheel drive and a bigger, bigger truck with higher clearance, then it wouldn't be an issue. And I got through a lot of snow with this thing, but um, the next little stretch here looks like two or three kilometers of, uh, of really deep, really messy snow. And there's no way my van's gonna make it through that in one piece, so. Uh, turn around and forge my way back through the snow, which is the worst part of it all. I don't get to see the hot spring and I have to go and deal with the damn snow again on the way out. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Onwards and upwards. So yeah, traded in the uh, forest and the hot spring that I couldn't make out to the uh, 
Columbia Gorge. This is a uh, this is really nice. Mainly because you kind of have it all to yourself. It's just quiet here. So yeah, welcome to the uh, Columbia Gorge. It is usually stupid windy here, but today it's like super, super nice, especially after how cold it's been the last few days. And now it's like 80 at least, and it's just, it's so nice. The birds are out. This spot right here, I can actually camp out overnight, and it's just like a pebbly wash, you know, left over from uh, the floods of years past, and you can just park up on here and enjoy it. One of the other reasons I'm here, and this is some real talk, is that uh, I'm broke. Like, dead broke. Like, I have some money coming in from different venues, and, and mainly uh, I was waiting on the, the Patreon check, which uh, just cleared like maybe 20 minutes ago and it landed in my account. So now I actually have enough money to like pay for gas to get back to Canada so I can go back to work. But that is, that is how, how tight it was, you know? Right down to the line. But uh, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon because you guys basically stretched the budget and allowed me to stay two or maybe three more months in the United States that I just wouldn't have been able to do before. So thank you very much. Um, it is super, super cool that that is like a thing that happens and that people are just generous and... <sighs> To some people, my lifestyle is very expensive, and to other people, my lifestyle is very cheap. Money is weird like that. It really is completely subjective to like how you grew up and who you are, and you always think that you're in the middle of things. You're the average, and uh, it's just weird. So, yeah, my YouTube revenue has like hit rock bottom. I'm pretty much making now per video what I was making when I first started monetizing my videos like a year and a half ago. Um, because of the way YouTube is running now, um, the ad revenue is pretty much non-existent, which, um, so yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot like, recently, whether I want to make a channel that's very commercial, and there's a lot of like things I have to sacrifice if I do that. I have to make this channel more friend family friendly, I have to do clickbait, I have to do cover images like that, and 
you know, that is legitimately how this business is run, how YouTube works. It's for the clicks. So whatever you see as the cover image, whatever you see as the title, that's just YouTube. That's the way YouTube works. I'm sorry. Like I, I have no problems personally putting whatever into that th thumbnail and whatever into that. Th now I try my best to make videos that actually deliver on what I promise, but uh, yeah. And on the other hand, there's the other avenue where you can go and you can make your channel completely, you know, fan-funded via merch, via Patreon, random donations, I don't know, just stuff like that. And I don't know, kind of on the fence. On one hand, I don't like putting the burden in your guys' hands. On the other hand, you've been very generous the last couple months. Seems a little bit more feasible all of a sudden, but I don't want to rely on it. So I don't know. All I know is that when I get to Calgary, I'll be working, I'll be working like a dog. So, enjoy your last couple of days of vacation, Simon, because we are going back to 12-hour days of shooting all day and editing all night. And I'll sleep when I'm dead. Alright, wicked. So, for tonight though, I'm gonna make a delicious curry and soak up this sunset. Because all, uh, all financial problems aside, my life is fantastic. Just fantastic. Look at this. All right, so the plan today is to make a curry, a little bit more chicken than I was really anticipating because I put it in the fridge instead of the freezer. Not a big old dummy. So now I gotta cook all of it because otherwise it's gonna go bad, but that's okay. I'll just make like a giant pot of curry and then maybe I'll eat it tomorrow too. Or maybe I'll eat it all in one sitting like a big old fatso. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, my curries are like kind of just whatever vegetables are in the fridge plus usually a can of some kind of bean. I like to go for the garbanzo beans, or chickpeas as I know them, or, um, you know, pois chiche in France. Um, but, uh, and then onions, any kind of fresh stuff I got going on, and I just kind of throw it all in. And the real key though is like, you want to kind of half cook everything and then you get the curry powder and the coconut milk on top of it and then you gotta let it simmer with the spices, the extra spice to pump it up a bit. You gotta let that stuff break down because the curry powder does not break down quickly and nothing's worse than like a salty, powdery curry. It's just gross. Just let it simmer, give it some time. 